Hey, it's Devon Lanker from Retirement Wellness SA. And today I'm answering a question from a member, which, uh, and the query is, how does GEPF calculate my benefits? So how does GEPF calculate your benefits? Now, to get started with this, we're gonna look at the member guide and the member guide gives you an understanding as to how the benefits are calculated. But before we head there, I just wanna give you a framework, which will then make the understanding of your member guide a lot easier. So just a moment for me as we take this to the iPad. Excellent. Now, uh, let's, so each of your benefits, because GEPF is a defined benefit fund, so I'll write that in here, it's what is called a defined benefit fund. Each of these benefits are uh, defined. They're defined or they're calculated. So uh, each benefit is defined, meaning your death benefit is defined. Your, your savings benefit or the pension that you collect is defined. The contributions to the pension is defined. So all of those are defined, meaning uh, they are already uh, calculated. There's a formula that is used. So let's use that. There's a formula that is used for each of the aspects. So to help you understand this a lot better because my, maybe you have a retirement annuity or a savings, or you could have someone else, maybe your spouse that has a pension fund or provident fund that is not defined. And then it makes it a bit tough to understand it. So here's how I want you to see it. Uh, every month you are making a contribution. So let's use this as your, as your pool and we'll say that you are making a contribution toward it. So this is you contributing, and we'll say this is your pension fund, by the way. So this is your pension fund. So you'd know a portion of your salary is being deducted and that portion is going into this pool here, which I'm saying now is your pension fund. It's your savings. In, in addition to that, you know that government themselves is also deducting a portion and investing it into your pool. So you are contributing, contributing a portion of your salary towards your pension fund. Government is contributing, contributing a portion of your salary towards the pension fund, see? And it's all being saved inside one place. Now behind the scenes, that money is actually being invested. So we'll write that in here, that money behind the scenes is getting invested and it's obviously delivering some kind of return. And as you know, markets can ebb and flow there are some periods where the markets are good, so the value could be higher. Some periods where the markets are not so good, the value could be lower, so it could fluctuate. But being in a defined benefit fund, this is where the risk is, uh, the risk of the markets are sort of taken away from you. So you don't have that investment risk itself, meaning by way of the formula, an amount will be calculated for you. So an amount is calculated for you, in my example, I'm going to just use a simple example and I'll say, let's say the formula says that your amount is a million rand. So you need to have a million rand that is inside the fund that's calculated. Now, it doesn't matter what is there from an investment perspective. So if in your investment you have, uh, using an example again, 800,000, then the, the, a top up has to uh, has to take place, meaning the fund has to top you up to the million rand because that is what the formula is saying. That's the calculation. Now the opposite can also take place. So on the investment itself, it could perform extremely well if it's invested well and the returns, let's say, go to one point two million. So suddenly in your fund itself, you have one point two million. But remember we are defined by the formula. So if the formula says a million rand, then that is the amount that you're getting paid out. It's very different to when we have a savings. Let's just take, I'll use an example with any form of savings, could be a retirement annuity. It could be uh, maybe an education policy that you have or any other kind of savings. And inside the savings, you know that you are earning uh, some kind of return here because you have that money invested. And at the end of the term, so if this was a five year period or 10 year period, however long the period is, at the end of that period, you are now collecting everything that is inside here. And that pool 
might have been subject to the markets. So we know markets ebb and flow, but whatever happened at the end of the five year period. So whatever tra transpired here at the end of five years, you get that entire benefit. This is different to what you have with GEPF because GEPF is defined benefit. All of what is taking place is defined by uh, trustees. Those decisions have already been made. And I will show you how to get access to the formula now. So let's do that share. So now I'm having a look at your member guide. You can get this for free off the GEPF website. You can download the latest member guide. You'll see it says government employees pension fund member guide. And we are going to have a look at page because we're speaking about just one benefit for now. Quickly going to scroll to that page for us. It's page 20 of the guide that you're working with. Uh, 19, here we go. This is it. So you can see here on page 20, there's a, a formula. It's a worksheet that allows you to calculate exactly what your benefits are. They basically have a look at the last two years of earnings and you'll fill out the information here. You'd have to work this according to your number of days that you've earned a particular salary and you'll add each of these components together. Once you get that total, you would then divide that total by two and then that provides you with what they're calling now as the final salary, mm -hmm. okay? as the final salary. But there is an easier way for you to get this. So a simpler way in order for you to get your benefits is reaching out to GEPF. They do have a calculator on their website. Uh, you can also register yourself to create an account so you can access it. Or you could phone GEPF's call center or even send them an email so that you can request the latest tax or the latest benefit statement. But this is how the, the benefit statement itself is done. It's, it's very unique because it's a defined benefit fund. It, even though you are investing into the market, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are attracting the market return. What is actually happening behind the scenes is you're getting what the formula dictates you must get. And the investment performance itself, that risk is either carried by you or within GEPF on the investment side. Meaning if the investment is not performing well, GEPF then has to top up into that in order to give you what the formula dictates is the amount you must receive. If the investment is performing extremely well, then in that case, you won't benefit from the additional amount. The amount that you'd be getting is the amount that the formula again dictates. Now, I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, you can click the like sign. Remember to subscribe to the video so that you're able to get the latest YouTube videos as soon as we post them out. And I'd love to hear from you how helpful you found this. Did you know that this is how a defined benefit fund actually operates? Were you aware of the contributions? Uh, did you know the distinction between, a, let's say, a retirement annuity or a savings plan versus how a defined benefit fund uh, operates? And now that you know this, how is this helping you? How is this helping you with your decision, perhaps to retire or resign from within GEPF? Or how is it just helping you in general? I'd love to hear from you. So please post a comment.